as shown in figure. A beam AB, it is simply supported beam. At A, it is chain support. At B, it is crawler support. Okay. So A to C, it is UDL load, informally distributed load. And C to D, it is trapezoidal shape load. One side, it is 2 kN per meter. Second side, it is 1 kN per meter. Okay. And D to B, it is also trapezoidal shape load. So this one, it is also one side, 1 kN per meter. And second side, it is 5 kN per meter. So first of all, draw the free body diagram of beam. A B okay. So beam A B this one at A it is in support. So that's why there are two reactions. One it is X direction and second one it is Y direction. Okay. So R A Y it is in Y direction because of in support there are two reactions. One it is R A Y. One it is R A Y and second one it is R A X. R A X. Okay. At B, it is roller support. At B, it is roller support. That is RB. At B, it is roller support. That is RB. Because of roller support, there is only one reaction. That is vertically upward reaction. Okay. So, first of all, convert all UDL load. It is in point load. Okay. So, C to D, it is trapezoidal shape. So, divide it, it is in two parts. So, here at D, it is one kilonewton per meter. So, just join this part here. So it is divided into two parts. One it is rectangle, second one it is triangle. Okay. So this is total height. So height of rectangle, this one it is one kilonewton per meter here. Okay. So same we will take here. So this one it is one kilonewton per meter. And height of triangle it is one kilonewton per meter. Okay. This is height of triangle. Okay. So second one, this one it is also divided into two parts. Second triangle. So just join this one kilonewton per meter here. So this one it is, this height it is one kilonewton per meter. One kilonewton per meter. And this triangle height it is, total it is five. Five minus one it will be, it will get four kilonewton per meter, okay? So now A to B it is one kilonewton per meter UDL load. See here, A to C it is one. C to D it is, we are divided into two parts. One part it is one kilonewton per meter. And D to B, it is also we are divided into two parts. So one part, it is one kilonewton per meter. What it indicates, A to B, it is one kilonewton per meter. So just convert this one kilonewton per meter, it is in point load, okay? Convert it is in point load. So this one, it is at the center of A to B, okay? So total span of this beam here, total span, this one it is, I will write here, total span. Three plus four, it is seven. Seven plus three, it is 10 meter. Total span, it is 10 meter, okay? So just convert it is in point load. So one load, one kilonewton per meter into 10. So is equal to it is 10 kilonewton. It is acted center of this beam. Okay. So just show this is point load. So load it is 10 kilonewton. Okay. 10 kilonewton. Okay. So it is located. Yeah, this location it is. 5 meter from A, 5 meter from A, 5 meter from A, okay, 5 meter from A. So second, this is triangular shape load. So convert it is in point load, okay. This triangular load, convert it is in point load. Here, this is triangular load. I will erase this one. Triangular load. So what is area of triangle? It is one half, one half. Base it is, base of this triangle it is, C to D it is distance 4 meter, 4 into, so UDL load it is 1 kilonewton per meter. This triangular load, height of triangular it is, base it is 4 meter and height it is 1, okay, 1. So it will be 2 kilonewton, 2 kilonewton, okay. So where it should be acted, it should be acted from C distance. So this distance it is 1 third of base, here, see this, this distance it is 1 third of base, okay. So it will be one third of base it is four meter. One third of four it is it will be at how much here? One third of four it will be one point three three meter. So it will be one point three three meter. Okay. So just show this one it is here. So just act one point load here. So this one it is point load. So that is two kilonewton kilonewton, 2 kilonewton, 
two kilonewton. So this one it is C point. Okay, this one it is C point. So from C it will be distance one point three three meter. Okay, so this distance it is one point three three meter. Yes, so this distance it is one point three three meter. One point three three meter. Okay. So C two. This distance is C two. A to C. This distance it is three meter. This distance it is three meter. Okay. So now second triangular shape. This one it is. So just show it is here. This point load. The area of this triangle it is one half. One half. Base it is three meter. Three into and height it is four. So four three is that twelve twelve into one half it will be six kilometer six kilometer okay so it will be acted where so this distance it is one third of base from this side it is one third of base I will write here one third one third of base it is three so it will be one meter from B one meter from B so just show it is point load this one it is six kilonewton. Six kilonewton. Six kilonewton. So this distance is this one meter. One meter from B. Okay. So now apply the equilibrium equation first of all here. So apply first equilibrium equation that is summation of M A is equal to zero. Summation of M A is equal to zero. So for that assumption. If the moment it is clockwise, it will be take negative. The moment it is clockwise, it will be negative. If the moment it is anti-clockwise, it will be take positive. If the moment it is anti-clockwise, it will be take positive. It will be take positive. Okay. So first of all, this this is a point. Okay. So we need to take moment here here. First of all, this five kilonewton load. How it is rotating this point? Five kilonewton load about the. A, it will be in C N. How it is rotating? It is in clockwise direction. So clockwise direction, it is we are considered is positive. Sorry, negative. So minus two into perpendicular distance. This one it is. Here, this distance it is how much? This distance. <coughs> three plus one point three three. So it will be four point three three. So this distance it is 4.33 okay 4.33 4.33 the next one this one it is 10 kilonewton load how it is rotating about the a it is also clockwise direction okay so clockwise direction it will be a concern it is negative okay so it will be minus minus 10 into 10 into perpendicular distance it is 5 meter here a a to this 10 kilonewton load it is 5 meter distance so it will be 5 okay the next one it is 6 kilonewton load okay so this one it is also rotating about the clockwise direction rotation here it is rotating clockwise direction okay so clockwise direction it is negative so 6 into 6 into perpendicular distance it is here how much this distance so this distance okay so this distance it is 1 meter so total 10 minus 1 it will be 9 meter so this distance it is 9 meter so this distance it is 9 okay next one it is rb rb just check rb how it is rotating just check this rb about the so this one it is here this it is rotating anti-clockwise direction rotation okay so anti clockwise direction it is positive that's why i write it is positive so perpendicular distance it is 10 meter b to a distance it is 10 meter is equal to zero okay is equal to zero now just calculate minus 2 into 4 point minus 2 into 4.33 then minus 10 10 into 5 then minus 6 into 9 so it will be minus 1 1 2 point Six six plus R B into ten. R B into ten is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Okay. So write down R B is equal to R B is equal to 
112.66 divided by 10. So it will be L1.266 kilonewton. L1.266 kilonewton. Okay. L1.266 kilonewton. So this one it is RB. Okay. So next equilibrium equation applies summation fx is equal to zero. Summation of fx is equal to zero. But there is a no only there is a no any force on horizontal direction. That's why it will be Rx it is only that is Rx is equal to it will be zero. Okay. No any force in horizontal direction. That's why only Rx it is zero. Okay. So next equilibrium equation applies summation of y is equal to zero. Summation of f y is equal to zero so first of all assumption for that if the force it is upward it will be take positive the direction of force it is upward it will be positive the direction of force it is downward it will be negative direction of force it is downward it will be negative so first of all this array y it is going upward direction array y this 2 kilometers is going downward direction and 10 kilometers is also going downward. So RB 6 kilometers is also going downward. So RB it is upward. RB is equal to 0. Okay. See here. Once again, I will explain. RAY it is going upward direction. So it is positive. 2 kilometers it is going downward. So minus 10 kilometers is also downward. So minus 10. 6 kilometers is also downward. So minus 6. RB it is upward. So RB, just put RB value here. RB we are calculated. It is L1.266 kilometer. So RAY minus 2 minus 6, 10 minus 6 plus RB it is L1.266 is equal to it is 0. So it will be get RAY from this relation. So just calculate RAY is equal to RAY is equal to minus 2 minus 10 minus 6 plus L1.266. So 6.734, 6.734 kilonewton, kilonewton, 6.734 kilonewton. This is RAY. Okay. So just write down here, RAY it is 6.734 Rx it is 0, Rx is equal to it is 0, and Rb it is, Rb it is L1.26 kilometer. Okay, this is your final solution. Okay, the support reaction were calculated as per the given beam. Okay, given loading beam. 